Hello everyone, I have something new for you and this time it's not socks, no, it's not ornament, and no, it is a hat. You know how much I love knitting hats over here my playlist for instance I put a link down below so if you see something that you really like you can go and watch it I'm telling you it's so worth it remember under each video you have a link to a pattern and some of them are paid for patterns some of them are free patterns so check it out again this is another tutorial and I haven't written a pattern for it yet I should I'm not sure I just wanted to get go and have a um, like a free knitting. So basically just cast on and just go with the flow. <laughs> so now I had in this beautiful bag, which I bought from Canada and this bag, oh, I put my keychain hat and um, I got from, from Lone Large Designs and camping because we like trips, we like campings, we like to hike and all kind of go outside and do something, although it doesn't happen a lot, let's face it, but if it does, we really, really, really appreciate it. So this is odd. Okay, so in this bag, I kept a leftovers from the shawl that I knitted, I think in 2017, on the screen now. This is Victoria Zahanovic, uh, a beautiful design. It is a reverse, reversible, I think that's the word. Uh, so basic, and it's huge. So that basically means that whichever you way you put it on it will be fine. And believe me, it is. So. So right, so what did I use over here? I had another yarn in the shawl and leftovers, which I'm going to put now to my full of minis hat. If you're watching that in December, yes, I may use it for my full of minis hat. So uh, right, I thought it would be too bright for it. So I kept just two colors and that was quite enough. And I think it's a little bit festive too. So I really, really like it. I can't wait to wear it. So what it is uh, this is a fingering weight hat and it has a folded brim and if you go to my how i do things you may even see how to fold a brim if you've never done that before i like the effect i like that it doesn't have structure that's kind of squeezed like a ribbing per se although over here we do have a ribbing it's not it's a one by one ribbing actually but i was knitting for a bit and i changed to this kind of color work mixed with uh, either color work or, or slip stitch method i have over here and then i did some bubbles the way i like to do bubbles on the screen how i do bubbles basically when you make a bubble and so far that i've practiced is when you make a few stitches you have to turn the work on the wrong side do a few stitches turn the work side and maybe decrease to make a nice kind of bubble or you can do even more times i don't don't like to flip my work so I figure out that you can definitely have virus bubble and that's basically is that you keep it in front of you all the time and it creates nice 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 bubble so anyway that that's kind of bubble I had over here I just put it um, down and below a little bit once I finished color work again I did some stuck in it stitch just to relax and enjoy and then what I did I did a color work and I joined another color so festive like a vintage style so i really really like it let me know would you like to see a pattern for this hat if you do let me know hearing from you is just amazing thing so if you do write down the comment that you really like it i'll do my best <laughs> to make it happen right so what do you need in regards to needles now like i said I haven't written it yet so but what I like to do with um, fingering weight hats either you could just stay and do this hat with one, uh, one size I use US size 3 which is 3.5 millimeter needles I have them here um, or and that would not be a big difference or you can do that you start with three millimeters which is US size 2.5 and then switch to a bigger one once you do the folded brim um, that can be an option too. So I used to, I felt a little bit fancier. So yeah, gauge you're asking, what kind of gauge I'm getting? 26 stitches by 32 rounds. So quite um, average, 
gauge for the fingering weight hat and as you could see as you can see it has nice bounce so if you've never done a folded brim just try it i really really like it it gives kind of a vibe of an older era i know i have some vintage friends over here watching and if i tell you the year i will probably missed it but you know it could be a few years ago <laughs> i like that shape kind of way so um i think you like it too tell me what do you think and yeah, I hope you're going to cast it on. It's so nice to be knitting around. And I hope you're going to subscribe, like, follow my adventure, also follow me on Instagram, and show me your knitting adventures. Tag me what you have up to. In case you're knitting any hats or crochet any hats, please do remember we have Knitting I Love group and there is a Knit a Hat Cal, which open is for crochet crochetters. Um, you can enter and win some prizes. So I would say go for it. There's also Knitting Crocheting Make Along, so go for it. If you like any of my patterns, there is a thread, Knitting I Love Patterns Giveaway, and it is open all the time. Basically, after every month, I'm picking, well, randomly, I use random, I use random number generator to pick number and then that number wins so uh so far so good check links down below hope you enjoy this one see you next one don't forget again subscribe like watch that ad and enjoy the rest of the day bye